still need a country that has a majority of Jews. It, it will it, take I, that's time. That's a problem. That's a problem when you work, you know, with majority and minorities because the minority always loses out. So yes. my, my concept of a federation doesn't have any minorities anymore because all the various nations, whether minority or majority, have their autonomy. They have their own police, their own schools, their own language, their own synagogues, their own everything. But they let the other people do the same. But somehow it means you have some districts, some counties, some areas which has a majority. You oh cannot, yeah, but you cannot do otherwise. Yeah, that's, that's a municipal government. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You, but, but there's already three municipalities that are 50-50. Haifa, Yaffa. Uh huh. Akka, Accra, and Jerusalem. 50-50. Let's know? put aside Jerusalem. But I agree with you. That's, to me, that should be the way forward. Hmm. And, but, it, how could I say? I also understand why people from diaspora wish they have a land where the, they can get security. Mm -hmm. Because, 2,000 years of so many yeah. things happened. I lost 90% uh, of my family in Poland. So, yeah. yes. Yeah. yeah. So that's, that's why, you know, my, my mother was a Jewish Bundist because she was fighting, she was anti-fascist uh -huh. fighter and they organized themselves to defend themselves. Uh -huh. And her brother was a partisan. He was one of the first to fight against the Nazi occupation into Russia. Okay. And eventually Have they won. that movie? I forgot the name. These three brothers who go and... Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a, a, a Zionist one, you know. That's a Zionist movie. I forgot. Because, I... you know, the Zionists, you know, and the Bundists were, were opposed to each other. So what the Zionists did is that they gave up on fighting against fascism because they thought the Nazis were going to win and they would stay, you know, the power in Europe. Uh -huh. So they made deals with them to get their own members out of Germany and Hungary, and they left the rest of the Jewish people to be sent to Auschwitz, okay? Then, inside the ghettos and the concentration camps, 70.1% of the kapos, you know, the Jewish police who were working for the Nazis, were You're Zionists. The kapos. Oh, yeah. Were yeah. Zionists. They were Zionists. Oh, I didn't know that. The Bundes, you know, were opposed to collaborating, mm -hmm. you know, but they, they did. That's why, it's so, that's why I would say to you, I met so many when I, since I'm a kid, I can't, you know, give, this is how they are, this are, I am, I am, because it's not true, I mean, there are some Jews from right, Jews from left, I, I met so many, some, some, uh, um, religious some are not I, I can't but the, I can't draw but the a line problem, say the it, problem so the reason like, why the Zionists took over the Jewish people took over the leadership of the Jewish people is because our movement the Jewish Bund which was majority before the war were all killed off by the Nazis okay uh -huh. then even the Communist Party attacked the Jewish Bund <laughs> our leaders were put yes, into I prison know. they died in prison yes you don't need to go to Second World War Bela Kuhn was killed by the Soviets Bela Kuhn? in Hungary Oh. He was killed by in, with another example. Yes, oh. he was killed. Even though he he was the leader of the Hungarian communist movement in 19, huh. he was killed during the uh, Stalin. Um, how do you say? Uh, you know all the killings like uh, Zinoviev, Kamenev, Purges. 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 Yes, yeah. he was. So, yes. I agree. That's why I'm telling you, from my history, yeah. I, my father was a communist and he... But you knew about the Jewish Bund. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's very important. I know. Here, the Jewish people, they don't know about the Jewish okay. Bund. Okay. Because they're educated in Hebrew schools. That's, that's no... And they all, they only have Zionist history. We are history. a capi capitalist country. How it's would they worth, know about socialist movements? They know. But, yeah, like, but, you know, why but would they, they know about Rosa Luxemburg? Yeah, why would they the, know about all these people? Yeah, because the Hebrew schools are not going to teach them. Nobody. They only teach Zionist history. I know, because... Nobody again, teaches, but, yeah, yeah. You know, because yeah. from... Even though I'm not... Rosa Luxemburg, though, she had a problem. She's like the Jewish Marxists who don't recognize the Jewish people as a people. And she also didn't recognize Polish independence either. Two mistakes that she made. But otherwise, but she was I great. understand that. You yeah. know, I'm going to tell you a story. Yeah. So... In the end oh, of just the a moment. Sorry. No genocide allowed in Gaza. Not in our name. You know, when I was in France, I was playing in a, a jazz band. Ah. And one of the guy. Well, I happened to learn that. It. 
I did that during two two years more or less. And more or less, almost at the end of my participation, one of the, the, what, the, the one of the well, the guitarist invited us to his house, uh -huh. and he told us at that moment he was Jew, uh -huh. and he told me something that shocked me. He told me, you know, as a Jew, I feel more connection to to a Jew in the United States than to another French non-Jew. Uh, it shocked me mm. because I was playing music with him mm. for two years. How could he? it was like rejecting me? So, well, if he told it to you, then it wasn't a rejection of you personally, of course. Maybe, but I felt like that, and yeah. also at that point of time. Uh. And that's what I told him. I told him, you know, I don't feel any connection to a black person elsewhere around the world because there are so many differences. Oh, so many different black people. Between black people. Different black nations. Yes. Yeah, I know. And, yeah. and he told me, so I don't understand why you say that. And he, and he told me, because you're not Jew. But after time, I understand why he told me that. I understand why he can appreciate some connections between Jewish people, Jewish people around the world, because it's how he feels as a Jew, and mm. it's something I have to acknowledge. I'm not a Jew. He, he's right. Yeah, he's I, right. We, we have a, yes. We have a common connection. Yes, right? and yeah. he shocked me, but yeah. I accept it because it's. But we're not supposed to be a nation like other nations. Like the Prophet Samuel said, we shouldn't have a king. You know, and then the the, the uh, populist, you know, sentiment at the time was, oh, we need to be a nation like other nations. Give us a king. Give us a king. So he he chose, you know, a working class kid, but and they made him a king, King Saul. But and then everything fell apart. You know. The, but what is a people without a country? Well, like Jewish people. <laughs> you uh, you uh, are we, right to tell me. Yeah, that's the answer you should we, give me. We are but Jewish, even though we're, we're all, we have a dual identity. Yes. You know, we can have two identities: Jewish and Canadian, or Jewish and Quebecois, and Jewish and, Argentinian, or whatever. You know. That's what I wanted to tell him. As a black, I feel I'm a black, but also I'm a French. Mm. And. Yes, I have the same understanding. Yeah. Because some. You but know, in formal logic, you can only have one identity. Yes. It's the formalist logic yes, that's a problem. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, I can always say that I'm French. Now I'm Canadian. I'm okay to say I'm Canadian, but. What about Quebecois? Do you consider yourself Quebecois? Not really. Mais tu parles français, oui? Yes. Oh, hi. What's your first name? It's, uh, Abraham. Abraham. Yeah, you're. you're, you're you have a website, I think, and you also, you also own the building on Duluth Street. Yeah, yeah. Are you selling it? Yeah, yeah. It's not working out. You know, I tried to get a collective of artists together, but the artists, they all think that they're in business, you know, and they're all for themselves, you know, so they never help me out. Like but that. you're asking for what, 600 grand, eh? 588,000, yeah. It should Are be. Are selling? Or you got interest? There's no, no offers, you know. Because they want to buy it cheap. They oh. think that it's in a cheap area of the city. Really? But it's not. The plateau is going to be the cultural center of the my, city. My old man, God, my old guide, my father, my late father, he used to have a property at 100 Duluth. I'm not sure it was east or west. But at that time in the 60s, uh, the plateau was slumped. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know there was this Jewish uh, a grocery store owner, and she was always scared because uh, she was running it. Because uh, I think her husband died in the Holocaust, I'm not sure. So she had, she had kids, I'm, I'm not sure. This was in the 60s, I'm not sure the whole story. But she'd always call my father when there were these thugs there who were there wanting to rob her. Wow. You know, so. Uh, wow. Because he had a ba and every day uh, when he was. Uh, that was the Luth Street. I was a hundred Duluth. I, I had pictures and. Uh, did uh, they did they try to rob her because she was Jewish or just because she was a woman? Because she was a woman, of course. Ah. <laughs> you know, but mm. I mean, these were punk fourteen year olds. You know? oh. And um, uh, every day after my father, he had an electronics business like uh, design and things like that. Oh. So every day, uh, so to show you how 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 how, he had some tenants upstairs and never paid. There were cockroaches. And what he would do every day before before he left, he would take the plywood things. Uh, because you have the window. Oh, to cover the windows. Plywood, to protect. You would, you would, you would uh, hook on the plywood and screw it because he made a, 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 a screw there, like a metal screw, so because in the wood it would wear out. 
So we're screwing the plywood on all the windows. Oh. And after that, we're going to 